Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. This, this is Harrowful School News. Here at Harrowful, we are making the news for real. As part of the school report, we have chose news stories about to, of interest to us. Today, we are asking whether unqualified teachers should be employed by schools and whether rapping can help pupils with their creative writing skills. As part, as part, as part of our support, we will, we will also be discussing how the no makeup selfie phenomenon has helped to raise millions for cancer research and consider how our own school is helping in our community. We will also decide how pupils at Hartford have been learning about the broadcasting industry. Firstly, we are going to pass over to our education team. In the news today, Michael Gove has suggested schools employ unqualified teachers. While we recognise that there are pros and cons, we want to find out a bit more on this situation and consider our school's views. We are going to interview our head teacher on the matter. Mr Culver, have you recently heard that Michael Gove has said that he's going to allow schools to hire unqualified teachers on the cheap? What are your views on this? I think um, you need to take a balanced view that it would be about making sure that the right people are recruited to the school and it's the right people to the right school. Um, in an ideal world everybody would be um, qualified and have gone through the same stringent measures to get qualified. However, I think we have to be realistic and we have to look at the very best things for young people and we have to use the very best staff to deliver to young people and I think if there is somebody out there who has got those skills and abilities to inspire young people, to help them to achieve, then why not be able to use the skills of another professional person who could come in and help young people to learn and to achieve. Um, I think it's about being open minded and being balanced. What we can't allow happen is a lot of people who shouldn't be in classrooms come in. So I think if we do go down this route it's about making sure that we get the right people in and we have the right ways of recruiting the right people into schools. Have you ever hired any unqualified teachers yourself? We have. And have you? Yes, <laughs> we have. Uh, we've, we've hired people in school um, here for various roles, um, not always teaching roles of course, but some of the staff in school um, are on their way to being qualified and we've found that it's been helpful for their development but it's also been great for the school as well getting those new and fresh ideas in. Have you do you think there would be any benefits to having unqualified teachers? Yeah, I think, I think there always is benefits to bringing new staff into school, qualified or not. Um, I do think there are benefits in school where you might be able to get members of staff that would be less in terms of cost into the school. But I think cost shouldn't be the driver behind this. It's about getting the right people in the right places. So you could see, for example, outstanding musicians that might not be teachers that would be able to deliver really good provision with the music. It could be the same with dance teachers, it could be the same with sports coaches. I think if we limit ourselves to only qualified teachers and only qualified through a certain route, it limits the amount of people that you can bring in that help young people achieve more. Do you believe that if you put any unqualified teachers in a classroom for the first time they'll be under a lot more pressure? I don't think so because I, I don't think you'd be bringing unqualified people into the workplace that couldn't teach. Just because they're qualified doesn't mean they can teach and just because they're unqualified doesn't mean they can't teach. Um, I'm sure there are people who have qualified who are um, not the best in the classroom. I think it's about making sure that whoever comes into the school through our recruitment process they are outstanding or as close to outstanding as we can get people in that classroom to help young people. Just because they're qualified doesn't always mean that they're going to be the highest level in terms of practice. Well thank you for the interview. This morning three hurtful students experienced a taste of media and radio live. The pupils had a chance to talk on the radio and tour the stations to see how things work. The students loved the experience and would like to do it again. By the time on air they had they will take the adventure and use it in their work. Recently, social networking sites have been portrayed in a negative way due to the problems it can cause. However, th this week we have shown a different side to social networking sites through the Facebook and the Twitter trend on makeup selfies to bring more potential awareness.
Women posting bare face selfies online have helped to lead in cancer giant hair, raising more than 8 million in 6 days. The craze has been soaring numbers of women posting pictures of themselves having no makeup and men with makeup on. The trend started off with just one person posting a no makeup selfie. Now the trend has gone viral. Millions of people are now posting no makeup selfies. On Tuesday the 18th of March 2014, the nation came together in aid of cancer. Girls on social networking sites were willing to take no makeup selfies. Also, men took part by putting makeup on for cancer awareness. In 24 hours, a massive £1 million pounds were raised from the no makeup selfie trend. Just another 24 hours, yet another £1 million was raised. We contacted Cancer Research and they quoted about the money raised. Everyone was over overwhelmed, really. It was amazing. 800,000 donations have been given to the Cancer Research after a popular campaign. Mark Griss, the 36-year-old man, joined Harp Ford for an exciting workshop. The students whose teacher said they need to be more creative enjoyed the workshop and will take their experience and add, the, add it to their future working class. The workshop made by ex-English teacher turned rap battler consisted of making raps to perform in front of the class. This activity, which took place on the 3rd of March, will help pupils' grade in the English department increase. As a result of the workshop at Harp Ford, the school will also appreciate the visit. Events in the workshop were packed full of energy and buzz as the students of the class have never experienced a lesson like it before. Furthermore, the new way of learning made the students engage with the idea of a poem that is wrapped. It has also made the class further interested in English. As one student said, Mark Grist is amazing. He opened my eyes and made me see the bigger picture of English. The transformation of poems to rap is a really good way of making us more interested. Monte Cristo is incredible. All students in year 8 received a taste of his work as he made a presentation to give a taste of his work. Although some people think that the 36-year-old man from London was a treat for the pupils, it wasn't. The visit was for educational purposes and them only. The children enjoyed it as well because they had freedom of their own imagination in the raps they made. This visit was used for a writing assessment for the class. From the test, the students have made the highest grades yet than previous assessments made. For example, one teacher said that if the test was a GCSE, a pupil would have reached an A star because the quality was that high. Also, because they could relate to whom he was and what he does. In addition, the workshop has proven that it was in, that it has improved students' grades massively. Meanwhile, the school has also appreciated the workshop and what and the outstanding grades due to the visit. Since the visit. Harrop Ford have received nearly 100 applications of more children wanting to come to the school due to the types of lessons and style of learning they have to offer. To conclude, the workshop by Mark Griss was benefited the school and the students gratefully.